Hello everyone. Today I'm going to work on a session about NS table view and the sorting behavior. This is a project uh, that I made with the video in the early days, like day six uh, about array controller. Uh, as you may remember, or you could uh, go back to take a look, this is a table view here with the two buttons add and remove. These two are connected to the array controller in order to perform the add and remove operation. It uh, adds the object, uh, the SON object into a SON array located in the document here. And then uh, by running the application, you could add uh, the rows into it. Uh, and what we are going to do today is by uh, is to sort um, the rows uh, based on either name or the BPM, which is an integer value. Uh, to get it start, we first look at the array controller here, and then go to the inspector, uh, the attributes inspector. Uh, we have two things to set up here. Uh, first, I need to. I already set the class name SOM here, and uh, I need to set the keys uh, for the properties that I'm going to sort. To take a look on the SOM class, we have two properties, name and BPM. That's the keys I'm going to add here. If you want the table to sort automatically and uh, rearrange for you whenever the content of the row changes, you will need to take check this auto rearrange content. Otherwise, after you change the value, you need to uh, click on the table header to sort um, the new rows again. I will choose it here. And then the next thing to do, um, I'm going to take a look on each column. Say first is the name column. On the right side in the attributes inspector, I could set the sort key. In this case, the sort key would be the same uh, as the property of the sort object. So it would be name or the first column. And the selector tells um, what kind of uh, function I'm going to compare uh, two rows to create the order. In this case, I'm using the default one, uh, compare, and uh, it is having a default ordering of ascending. For the BPM, I need to uh, set the socket to BPM and then just use uh, compare as well. Currently, my table will has a binding to array controller uh, arrange objects, which would uh, get the information of the SOMs array, and then for each SOM, uh, it displays as a row. And then we have the test field within that um, binds to the object value of the table cell will. But if we are going to do a sort, uh, do the sorting for this NS table view based on each column, I'm not going to uh, use the binding from the table view to the arrange objects. Instead, I go to each um, column and then bind this column to the arrange objects and specify uh, the property I'm binding to. In this case, would be dot name, and name actually will appear in the model keeper. For the BPM, I will do the same. Um, set BPM to model keeper, and make sure you check uh, bind to the array controller. Now we have all these things set up. Let's run the application and take a look. 
I could click Add, just like before, to add several rows, which is circle sum objects. Uh, if I change the value at the beginning, it will not sort uh, based on the value. I need to uh, choose the table header here. And now it is um, uh, starting with uh, sorting in ascending order. Since I am uh, in the sorting uh, state now, if I have uh, some of the values that fits in in the middle, it will sort automatically. This is done because we uh, choose the array controller and uh, check auto rearrange content here. It works for the name field as well. And right now, as you can see, it is uh, comparing um, in terms of uh, case sensitive. So capital letter is having a smaller S key code, so it is showing in front of uh, the small letters. In order to compare um, and ignore the case uh, sensitivity, I could uh, choose a different selector here. The one I could use here is um, case insensitive compare. It will ignore uh, the case sensitivity. To run it now, if I create uh, several song objects here again, and then for say the one here, I'm changing it to a uh, lowercase and I sort it, it will work uh, as the same because it ignores the case sensitivity right now. So, as you can see, our current application doesn't come with a default sorting. We need to uh, click on the table header every time when we launch the application in order to start the sort. Um, Actually, we could uh, set the default sorting uh, in code uh, at the time that we know up the application or show this view. To do that, uh, we first want to connect our table view as an IP outlet to the view controller. So this is the table view and I drag it to the view controller. I'm doing this because I'm going to um, add a line of code within view did no method using table view and then set with the um, sort descriptors. This sort uh, descriptors is an array and then I could uh, provide it with um, a bundle of uh, the sorting behaviors. Um, in the array, uh, the first uh, element would be sort first, and then when it is the same on the first uh, sort descriptor, it checks for the second one to find out the sorting ordering. So here, say uh, the first one I want to sort based on the name of the song. I could provide a sort descriptor like this and then I'm going to use the one with uh, the key ascending and seata. The key here would be name just like what we set uh, on the column here, the sort key. Ascending would be uh, true as um, it is ascending order by default and then the, for the seata just like uh, in storyboard, we want to use this case insensitive, case insensitive compare. If I start the application now, we should see a default sorting based on name. Like this. So now if I change the content, it will sort accordingly. But then if I have uh, two value 
uh, two rows, the same here, but a different BPM. What we are going to do, I want to sort uh, in ascending order for the BPM as well. So that's why we could add the second sort descriptor to this array. This time we'll be using the default selector, so we could just choose um, another initializer with just the key and ascending. The key I will provide as BPM and then it's uh, true for ascending. Now if I run the application again and uh, add several rows to it, say the first two rows are having the same value in lane and then here I have the this row having a bigger BPM, it will go to second. So that's how we set up with uh, the sort descriptors and mix with several criteria. We will explore a bit more on NS table view tomorrow. So talk to you soon.